ST01 and ST02, ST03 or ST03N, then ST04 are related to the DBA cockpit database related things we discussed. So now today we'll discuss about the ST05 that is called the system performance trace here ST05 ST05 here system performance trace here. So this is the performance related trace here system trace that is the ST01 ST01 is the system trace here here like RFC calls, HTTP calls, any other thing, kernel calls, any authorization check, we can find out from here. Anything we can find out from here. But if we go to the ST05, ST05, this is called the trace, SQL trace, SQL statements, then performance related things here. So we can enable it, we can activate the trace here, then we can ask the user to reproduce the issue they will reproduce the issue, then deactivate the trace and we can see where the, the lag is, where the performance issues are, in which statement, which table the performance issues are. So it will, you will get the information where the timings, the duration is taking longer time here, right? Where the timings duration is taking longer time here. See within a fraction of minutes, so in the back end, how many SQL statements are called? See within, within back end fraction of seconds, how many SQL statements are called here, right? So this will happen. Suppose example, what I will do, we'll go back, activate the trace, then I will try to execute the one of the transaction code. So like uh, SWU3, okay? Just so you see it is compiling. So now it is compiling, right? Let's see what will happen here. Right, so we have this is got compiled, so it's taking some time. Then immediately I will deactivate the trace here just to display the trace. Display the trace. See the duration, how much time it's taken. Right now, you can see what happened exactly here, which user basis user, right? Insert the values, right? So now if we scroll down and see it here, what happened here then you will come to the duration you need to check the duration okay this is the highest duration there is a flush call client flush call so okay then statement which statements taken the longer time which statements are taken the longer time here so this client flush calls this object name this is the one of the object name it's taking very longer time this object name is taking very very longer time here so like that, if you click on, if you're searching, if you, if you see, see within fraction of seconds, see how many queries are executed in the backend, how many, how many queries are executed in the backend to get the data. Did you write the queries? No. Who write in SAP system system will convert your logic into system will convert your logic into the SQL format, DDL, DDL, DD, D, sorry, DDL statements and DML statements select query insert update so delete so it will convert your statement into this format then it will convert it then it will pull the data using the sql statements but while getting the response in the format you will get it out but by while pulling the data from the database level it will use the queries only the select statements and everything will lose only so basically this st05 will help to find out the why it is taking a longer time. So suppose one of the user trying to pull the data from database level, employee data, it's not coming, it's taking some time. Why? Why means, so if you activate the trace here, here we will come to know the why, the answer. Means in which table it's taking because of the record count is very high because of the, so the table, suppose like these are not the tables, these are the statements, these are all the programs which is executed, these are the records, this is the duration. So means one statement, it got executed this much of duration here, microseconds, right? So then you can find out the record count and so where it got delayed. So here the 6,200 microseconds then 23,000, 1,000 microseconds, like that it will give you the duration. Then 
we need to find out the top durations. Why the call is getting delay in this table itself only? In this table, is there any issues here? Is there any index problem? Is there any table record count is high? So like that, we need to investigate it. So if you minimize the timelines here in this table, in this table, then we can find out the, we can get the, some, we can, the durations will be reduced here. Then the calls will, calls will be back and you will get the, immediately you will get the data here. Immediately you will get the data from the systems here, data from the systems here, right? So that's what here it will happen in the system. So that is the reason we have to use the, that is the reason we have to use the ST05. It is the transaction code for the tracing for SQL performance tracing. So this 01 and 05, so not always, whenever is there any issues, that time in anyone reported, that time we have to enable the this tracings, SQL tracing and system tracing functionalities, we have to enable it here. Okay, so then so, next one is the... So if you uh, functional team ask any trace file, right, to analysis purpose for any job failure or something, then how to provide that uh, export option is there? How to provide the a trace file uh, for some uh, functional team suppose ask uh, some trace file then we have we have to activate the trace we have to ask them to reproduce the issue then uh, once they reproduce the issue then what we can do we can uh, uh, we can download the trace and we can provide to them okay download option is there yeah everything, everything analyze the trace Everywhere you have the download option. Any transaction code, you will get the download option. Let me show you. So everywhere, if you go to the ST05 or everywhere, suppose like activate the trace. So then deactivate the trace and go to the trace, execute, then you will get the traces here, right? then select all so then you have the option list list option save or uh, traces so so otherwise operating system level we have the options here so we can use it so we can use it here that we can use it to do that one display the above call durations display the statements So save option is there. So we can save it. So everywhere in any transaction code, you have the system and help button. If you go to the system and there is a list and save, you have the save option. So we can save it in the local uh, unformatted format. We can save the all the information and everything. We can save it here. So same thing in ST01 also, we can save it. The, trans, the data, whatever the data analysis data, so we can save it. We can save it, the transaction, the data, whatever the data, you can save it. Every transaction in the menu, you have the, these two tabs are common. These two tabs are commonly, you will get it out here. Sometimes there is an option to download option. Sometimes we have to manually go to and save it. Otherwise we have to copy it. There is a copy option, control C and we can copy, we can note, uh, notepad, we can save it. That's possible. So ST06 is like a uh, this is kind of a this is the dba cockpit database level uh if any performance issues anything database level we can find out using the dba cockpit sap level workload analysis and everything we can find out in the here sap level what's happening and who executed what transaction code what is the duration how the system is behaving we can check in the st03 transaction code then what about the st06 ST06. ST06 is like a operating system level details. OS level. OS level means it's kind of OS level, right? CPU, memory, network, storage. So these and all the things will come under the operating system level. Up. 
so here you can see the operating system level what is the cpu utilizations memory utilizations right how many number of cpus what is the idle time idle time means free time what is the user utilizations what is the system utilization currently what is the power settings here what is the physical memory how much is the free how much is the swap so what is the response times so all the information we can see it here all the information we can see it here how the cpus are previous hours if you see here previous hours previous hours today so then how num how many number of threads first core one core we have the two threads right how the cpu idle time cpu idle time is see here then cpu user utilization three percentage so then percentages wise then how cpus are behaving and all the information you will come to know here right and memory memory also we will come to know here os means st06 means it's operating system level details and everything we can find out here so memory memory also we can find out here how the so memory free what is the total memory how much is free how much is used so in the previous hours yesterday hours hourly wise so zero hour fourth hour seventh hour eighth nine ten eleven up to how many hours this is the free and all the information we can see it here all the informations we can see in the so systems here right so this will give you the so clear information of so how the systems are behaving os level suppose like some some people they won't get the access to the operating system level and the database level then they can go to the st06 transaction code and dba cockpit to check the database level st06 for, for the st for sap level for, for a os level so you can see the so cpu disk memory network what is the network are there any network errors in the systems right so we can check it out here so top cpu process same as like task manager in the task manager what are the top cpu process are in the systems right so previous hours in the cpu previous hours and memory previous memory hours so that that one we can find out here right previous hours history history also we can find out in the systems here so last two days last three days how the cpus are behaving how the memories are behaving so disk so all the information we can see it here all the information disk disk how many disks are c and e drive in the disk so what is the transfer rate here operating systems rate here per second so the network network file systems c drive e drive what is the free memory right e cpus right cpus cpu average system utilization here last five minutes then memory so, so number of cpus number of processors right so which cpu so we have the total 18 cpu cores are there number of cpu means 18 cpus are there in 18 cpus so each cpu how it is behaving here right so each cpu so idle time this cpu is not taking any load then this cpu also not taking any load 100 percent is idle right this cpu also not taking any load so this cpu at least some cpus are taking the load means below below 100 then they are taking the load they are taking the load of the user request and everything so this cpus also will take the load but so currently there is no such load in the systems so whenever any load this cpus also will take the load so this cpu number two cpu two is taking a lot of load in the systems 82 percentage so which means taking the load so like that you can see the utilizations we can see the utilizations memories free space free memory everything means so you don't need operating system level operating system level if you have access what you will do you will check in the systems you will check in the systems. this pc you see what's happening in the c drive what is the free memory and memory status you can go to the task manager you will see the all the cpu percentage and memory percentage here you can go to the here so what is the memory occupied what is the network status you will find out the whenever you have the access you will see the all the os level information and everything here right but you don't need in case if you don't have the access then directly you can go to the st06 and find out from here also you can also find out the information whatever you see here in the task manager similar things you can find out from the st06 this is purely operating system level details operating system level information okay so in sometimes people ask you to perform check the os level are there any issues can you check it out sir i don't have the access then we, there is a transaction code here. You can go to the ST06. You can find out the how the CPUs are behaving, how the memories are behaving and everything here. 
right the time st06 will help you okay in real time scenario uh, are we configuring any third party monitoring to integrating for yeah, this kind of definitely organizations they will configure the not, not only multiple third party tools they will configure it for the monitoring solution manager cloud alm so those things also they will configure it so we will be getting alert right yeah we will you will get the alerts in case of cpu i cpu sci memory those things you will get the alerts what are those tool means just for the name? there are multiple tools like suppose example solution manager and uh, cloud alm nowadays recent tool everybody will ask this one and uh, uh, avantra there is a one tool and uh, there are many third party tools are there so maybe there is uh, one company uh, yeah I know these are the tools. These are the third party tools are there. Red Hood, Red Hood for the jobs monitoring and, uh, and also this will also monitor the systems. There are the tools. So multiple tells it will monitor the your systems as well here. So, so they will throw the alerts in case of something wrong, it will throw the alerts. But we need to purchase the subscription from them. So then uh they will provide the files to us then we have to either transport request we have to import it or either we have to integrate via rfc destinations those things we have to perform it so st07 this is the it's not much useful transaction code but there is a st07 also this is the application monitor user distribution here so here we can see how many number of users are there then how many work process are there then number of users how many users are logged in in that active users are how many basically what applications they are using basis components then the basis components someone is using the st22 someone is using the sub components here monitoring components st07 which i am using here so it will give you the some information here so nothing much useful but there is a transaction code st07 application monitor user distribution in the users you have the users in the in that users how many are logged into the your systems here in the users how many are logged into the systems what they are doing so then what what applications they are using transaction codes which means what transaction codes they are do, working on um, then that how many are active that will give you the some information in this system here So, but normally if you go to the AL08 also, you will come to know the so all the information here clearly. All users list SM04. So a list of logged on users here in that what application they are using. You can also get the clear information here. But here is the overview, it will be displayed here. So there is a transaction code wise. Here it will display the some people are using the basis transaction codes, basis components they are using. So if anyone, if you use the functional related things here, suppose like example, so suppose like uh, material management, MM, no, PA01, no, VL02, then it will give you the, so the VL02 that it will give you the information, what transaction code, functional related transaction codes you are using. So like this, it will give you the, information here it will give you the information here so two users then one is the sub components monitoring related things st07 and uh, someone is the above runtime component here this is the syntax and runtime so we got the errors runtime error here that is using so it will give you the some information here so these are the some performance related transaction codes up to st01207 up to some performance related in case of performance issues we can go ahead and we can see the the traces and everything here that what we can do it in the systems here right and uh, yeah i think that's it for today already eight